Hello, rights flexing people from all around the world. I'm Steve, and this is our very special international episode. Probably every other day I get an email or Facebook message from folks in Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, or New Zealand who ask some version of the same question. Do the lessons you teach in your DVD and YouTube videos apply to police encounters in my country where we don't have a Bill of Rights? Well, I've got some great news for all you Canucks, Kiwis, Limas, and Aussies. Virtually 100% of Flex Your Rights lessons apply in all of the British Commonwealth nations. Now, it's true that Flex Your Rights is a US-based organization, so all of our materials draw from the US Constitution and Bill of Rights, as well as what are known as constitutional minimum standards, which are set by the Supreme Court. In other words, all of our information applies to police encounters in all 50 states. I appreciate that we Yanks like to believe that our founding legal documents were a radical departure from the brutal tyranny of the English crown. But when Thomas Jefferson wrote in the Declaration of Independence that all men and women are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that in order to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men and women, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. These are not new ideas. This is a remix of the old ideas, which were the basis of English common law. Jefferson and the founders were throwing it back in the face of King George because his government was repeatedly violating these inalienable rights rather than protecting them like they should have been. But even though our founding fathers severed political ties with the crown and a bloody revolution, the U.S. Constitution and Bill of Rights are based on the principles of this old English common law. Many of the legal traditions, such as presumption of innocence, freedom to travel, and a general right to privacy are not explicitly mentioned in the Bill of Rights. But these notions have been accepted by courts all around the world as essential to the protection of our natural rights or human rights that we are born with. So long story short, the criminal procedure laws in Canada, UK, Australia, New Zealand, and other Commonwealth nations are strikingly similar to those in the United States. And the strategies and tactics depicted in our two feature films will help you get the best possible outcome of any encounter with the law. I posted a link below to an article I wrote describing in greater detail the criminal laws and customs specifically in Canada, UK, Australia, and New Zealand. It includes specifics about search and seizure laws, your right to remain silent, as well as information about your right to record the police. It also includes links to some awesome civil liberties groups doing similar rights education work in those countries, so please check that out too. You might even want to volunteer or make a donation. Finally, you know that we at Flex Your Rights love to share our films on YouTube, so if you can afford it, we have DVD copies of our films as well as our, our sexy t-shirts uh, that you can get from our online store. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share. But most importantly, no matter where you live in the world, always be prepared to flex your rights.